Hopefully you know inventory is plentiful always here at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. Ford Rangers, the 24 new body style is definitely one to take notice on. And of course you can see right here before us, covert versus the stock. We all know the custom is better than stock every single time and a great representation right here two of the identical vehicles side by side first glance which one do you like obviously i like this one here if you are a uh, fan of the smaller truck segment you can still get into this right here and not feel uh, too bolsterous as far as size wise goes so a good comparison today between these two diamonds xlt shadow black form just the substance of how they look from the front end is undeniable two and a half inch leveled on the front here the stock rangers stock any vehicle is going to be front side heavy slightly you can see it right there so definitely just leveling it up to me from a driver's standpoint it gives such a more uh much more confident feel overall not being front side heavy when i'm leveled i just feel more confident i feel more like a boss riding uh, especially in something custom because the custom over stock thing is all about like the confidence level that it presents not that we're trying to show off or stunt for anybody it's about like just the mindset of i'm in a vehicle that's dialed in to my taste my personality uh, my vibe more so than anything else and more so than anybody else's because this is unique to me personally and that's what we're trying to put off here at Wild Willys. Not being boastful, but just showcasing uh, what is unique to you. So uh, tire-wise comparison, again, two and a half inch super lift leveled here. Looking at 255.70.17. That's a essentially a 31 by 10. Rounded off, I, you know, I'm about the details, but 31 by 10 here. Then right next door to a 285. 7017 so a lot of you all are probably wondering if you own one of these vehicles what's the best size to run for leveled setup 285 70 so uh the the ratio the 70 uh, number in the middle is still the same but just the overall width makes that tire taller once you throw the equation in there 285 75 285 70 17 i'm sorry so uh, the 285 height of course the 70 percent is the total sidewall uh, based on the percentage of the width so a little bit wider for sure and you can tell the difference there looking great so 33 by 11.2 uh versus 31 by 10 so a little bit wider definitely taller 255 70 versus 285 70 17 pro comp you've heard me have you heard me talk about pro comp I mean, pro comps old school uh been around for a long time uh my my best friend back in the day nick ran it on one of his trucks too so pro comp's been around for forever and pro comp throwing some new wheels to us right here looking good a 17 inch rendition i think it was a perfect balance for this one so uh big shout out john thompson wheel pros making this happen pro comp 17s on 33 toyo open country at3 fx4 covert american flag go america we got a bed cover to go along with it in the back just the covert edition options that we need a backflip uh mx4 looking great and again so size wise in the rear we did not do anything lift wise in the rear except just a tire size increase so that's what the only thing you can notate until the difference there we are on a slightward uh, rear downward slope here running down that way looking at more ranger inventory it runs over that way as well as all this inventory over here so akinsford.com check that out i'm a fan of the ranger the maverick's been great too uh but i guess the ranger has not gotten the notoriety that it needs to being a refresh new design really inside and out like look here on the inside just uh the vents the uh lcd clusters everything's been changed and improved to me uh, capacity leg room wise functionality uh, it's a money setup I'm very much a fan of what they're producing here and uh, hopefully you've been a fan and follower of the channel you've seen there's a lot of content out there that we produce on the Ranger Raptor look for more of those we get on the Ranger Raptor if I can get my hands on it we're throwing 35s on that that'd be pretty special as well we tried to put a 34 on this uh, we've tried to throw a 305 uh, 75 on this and it was just too much but uh, we got to try it especially on these lot vehicle builds super important to try and make sure and see what will work what will not work that way if we get a customer in here we don't have to say hey we're going to trial and error your vehicle we know exactly what works uh, as far as the offset or the zero offset i guess next time i would like to be in that 
plus range, maybe like a plus 12, plus 20, plus 18. Uh, and still run this same tire size that would get us inward a little bit more but for the lot vehicle build initially just wanted to showcase a more broad and wider stance this will limit turning radius slightly more than here uh, because of that track there the width but also in my opinion uh, well, it's, a, it's a science fact that the, the handling is going to be improved and overall stability by going wider right there. So I love the way it drives. Just spent some time with it today and, you know, not trying to be biased or any other thing. If I was just a person that was looking to buy a truck and keep it for a while, I would go with this one, y'all. Like, even if I'm not a custom guy, if I just came on a lot and this was the first Ranger that I saw and drove, I would be like, I love the way it drives. It doesn't feel erratic. It feels very controlled, stable, uh, and has the gr a great appeal, looks, and improved capability. Uh, FX4 Covert Edition 24 Ranger Shadow Black, y'all. We're going to do more Ranger stuff coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But just wanted to showcase the latest rendition. Uh, it is Thursday, August 15th. I had to look and see what day it was because I've been in Kentucky with Ride Tech and Fox and RTR uh, doing an amazing shoot there of our uh, lowered vehicle segments, F-150 and uh, Mustang went out there, got to rip on the track. Uh, that video is coming out uh, shortly as well. So everything auto every single day is what you're going to find here on this, this channel. If you're still watching this video deep into it, I greatly appreciate it. Every single day, I'm going to try to add value into your life. So just know that, whether it's from humor or information or fun, we're going to get after it with a positive, great mindset. And I, I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, peace out.